DART OFFICIALLY HAS NEW ARMED SECURITY GUARDS RIDING ON ITS TRAINS. THAT'S IN ADDITION TO ITS POLICE FORCE. IT'S AN EFFORT TO CUT DOWN ON RISING CRIME ON ITS TRAINS AND AT ITS STATIONS. FOX 4'S DAVID Tendry LIVE IN DALLAS TONIGHT WITH MORE ON THIS STORY. DAVID. Yeah, as you mentioned, Steve, DART already has its own police department. That's made up of 252 officers. They are mostly patrolling the station, so they're walking on foot. They're not usually riding along trains or buses, so that's why the department is bringing in an additional 100-plus armed security guards to ride trains in an effort to bring down crime. If you ride a DART train, chances are you'll now see a transit security officer on board to regulate unruly passengers. People who are misbehaving on a train or bus, they're going to be there to, of course, remediate any questions or concerns. DART says the rollout is in response to an increase in crime. We are starting to see those numbers come up of nonviolent crimes, but violent crimes as well. Fox 4 previously reported DART is seeing an increase in assaults, destruction, damage, vandalism, drugs, theft, robbery and weapons violations in this year's second quarter compared to last year's. They really just need to get rid of all the dope fiends. They just really need to get the dope fiends off the train. They really just ride train just to be on the train. People be smoking on the train. It's made some riders feel insecure on the train. Maybe five and a half, six. On a scale of one to ten. And that's the problem. Fox 4 recently reported on a man being pistol whipped on a dart train. We've also reported on drug use out in the open. DART hopes the addition of more than 100 armed security officers who you'll see in these light blue shirts will ease concerns. We're currently under a one-year contract with this particular firm, and the total cost is $15.3 million. For the taxpayers out there, if crime doesn't improve, if they don't start to feel safe after seeing these security officers on the train, what happens next? We actually do a quarterly look at all of our police records. DART says it'll evaluate the plan and will decide whether to extend the one-year contract, but it says it's confident these security guards will improve the riding experience. People feel more secure. They don't even have to worry about calling because they can notify that person right there on their train. DART says a majority of these armed security guards are already on the job, but they will not be fully staffed until about next month. Now, these armed security guards, they are unable to actually make arrests of people on DART trains or around, but they can forcibly remove people from trains under certain circumstances, and of course, they will call DART police if they need any sort of backup or if an arrest is needed.